Fleming, uh, Patrick here with John, and we're going to do a 1750 point back rep with uh, the new codex with the orcs. So we're going to do orcs versus necrons. Um, so, first off, let's have a little talk about the orc codex. What are your feelings on it, John? So far, having a little read through. Um. <laughs> I haven't even read through it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've not even opened it, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, from what I've seen so far, most of what I know of it is leaks and little bits I've watched on, on YouTube and other other sort of things, but I'm, I'm happy with what I've seen so far. Main reason being, everything I'm painting is yellow because I want to play Bad Moons, and the Bad Moons look pretty good from what I've seen so far. Yeah, yeah. So, especially Looters, they're a really popular unit by listening so far with the uh, re-rolling ones and shooting twice and... Yeah, that bad range stratagem of yeah. shooting twice looks awesome. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I think so far from I, I've probably actually read it, read through the codex, had a chance to read through the codex more than John has. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, as we've seen, the culture has been leaked um, for each one. Um, there's some really good cultures in there. Bad Moons one specifically, I think, is probably one of the best. The reroll ones is going to help with that, getting the more dapper off of the army wide rule. Um, Evil Sons is really strong, they get advanced moves and yeah, all that, don't they? Yeah. Across, uh, most of the and also wars, the, so. um, the, well, the blue guys, Death Skulls there? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah they, they're one that's good, you can re-roll a hit, re-roll a wound, um, and they get a six up invon? Yeah, six up invon. Exactly, yeah. yeah, and the snake bites are the ones with the six up feel no pain on them. And the Goths look strong as well with their, um, they get basically daka 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 on close combat, assault, on yeah. combat, so they really, look really, really good, look really strong. Like in the new um, war, pow war powers, the psychic yeah. powers for the weird boy, there's some nice ones in there. Yeah, yeah, some and fun I, ones. Yeah, I really like just the, they've kept the really, like, they've got a really nice orc flavour, but they've just made the orcs better. They've made them more efficient, they've made them so they're not going to be struggling so much when shooting, you know, always hitting on sixes, the sixes then exploding into extra hits. It's it's what they needed, you know? Yeah. Obviously there's been a bit of a points drop um, in a lot of units. The boys went up. The boys you know. went up, yeah, yeah. I think rightly so, like they've become miles better with the... Um, it's seven points, isn't it? A boy? Yeah, seven points. That's still board. ridiculously cheap, in my opinion, for a unit that can do what they can do. Yeah, I mean, the amount of attacks they can give out and all that sort of thing, I don't think that's bad at all. And, and you know, shooting's improved with Daka Daka as well. Yeah, and that's then you, gonna count, isn't it? So. you get a pain boy, custom force field, you know, they start becoming a little bit more yeah. survivable, um, things like that. So we do have some of the new vehicles. So we have the two of the vehicles from the Speed Freaks box, which is the custom no the custom booster blaster that's it and the shock jump dragster that's it yeah so and you uh, john has worked very hard to get these painted up very quickly um and he also has the death killer war truck like, yeah. yeah um so that's pretty cool and then we've got some war bikes as well um to make up uh an outrider so. outrider will be yeah yeah, yeah. Um, what else have we got? You've got the mech guns, so they're new, they look pretty good in the codex as well. Um, so what we'll do is I'll hand over to John and he can talk you through the list and what he's bringing. Um, it's sort of... Uh, it's a rush job. It is. <laughs> like John hasn't had hardly any time to look through this codex, so he's put, put together a list with some of the things that he had painted and done. Um, and, you know, so we're gonna, we're gonna do go through the list and then um, we'll yeah talk about afterwards about you know things that John might change in the future in the, in the post talk so so we'll start off we're trying to get some command points um, you're going to need them and I want to place them in the strategy so you guys can see what you can do um, so I've started off with a battalion um, so we've got two HQs we've got a big mech in mega armor with custom force field because custom force field is good obviously uh, and we've got a weird boy. I'm taking him with the jump, and uh, what was the other power? Sorry, it was called the fists of Gork. Uh, so that's uh, if it's six to manifest, um, and if manifested, select a friendly orc character model that's visible to and within twelve inches of the strike psyker. Add two to that model's strength and attacks characteristics until the start of your next psychic phase. 
Very, very nice. We were actually just talking about that. Um, putting that on Gazgul makes him like someone that strength 16 with like eight attacks, nine attacks. It's, it's pretty lethal. Obviously, we're not pairing Gazgul today, but um, still going to make that big mech yeah. very lethal. Yeah, definitely. Or you could, because the character, you could put it on the pain boy, you could put it on the, the, the trike. trike. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there's numerous things we've yeah. got. Uh, anyway, battalion. So we've then got a blob of 30 boys. Uh, they're chopper slugger. Uh, with the boss knob, we've got a blob of 12 boys and a blob of 15 boys, uh, again, slugger chopper and the um, boss knob, uh, that'll round off the battalion. We've then got, unfortunately, my wire banner, man is having to cover for a pain boy because I don't know where I've put the model, so he's going to have to do the job for today. It happens, it happens. It does, yeah, especially at, at short notice, so yeah. We've then got an outrider detachment, which is going to be the new death killer war trike. Uh, again, I literally picked that up yesterday and painted it to this level in about two and a half, three and a half hours, something like that. So it's going a good job. I like it. It'll like do it a job is. for today, but it needs to be taken apart. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we're running that road attachment. He's the HQ in that with the shock jump dragster and the custom booster blaster and three war bikes, which is just standard war bikes, not knob war bikers over here. Uh, although it does have a boss knob with a power claw. Uh, we've then got, just for fun, a couple of mech guns. Um, these ones I haven't got the crew for at the moment. Again, these literally most of this has been painted in about what, three or four days to be honest. Yeah, so, yeah, he's done a good job. Um, good, I've, I've rushed him, I've rushed him. <laughs> yeah. So we've got these, they are both going to be played as the tractor cannons today. Uh, they seem quite fun. There's other good options though. People seem to be raving about tractor cannons. And don't get me wrong, let's, let's talk about what the tractor cannon does. So it's heavy one. It's uh, auto hitting 48 inch range. It's uh, strength eight, mm -hmm. yeah, strength eight, eight minus two, DC damage. damage. The thing with the track can, if you're shooting against something that can fly, you then roll two D6 and take select the highest. And also, if you kill that unit, if it does explode, then it will automatically explode. So it is very, very good. Mm -hmm. And it's the auto hit. I mean, it is only one shot though, so. But we were talking about the other one. It still does get daka daka daka. It's kind of a relevant yeah, yeah, also yeah. Hit, So the mech guns can get daka daka daka. So when you've got the the other one I like is the custom mega cannon. Uh, that's thirty six inch range, heavy D six, straight eight, AP minus three, damage D six. Um, that one's if you roll one or more unmodified hit rolls of one, the bearer suffers one mortal wound after all the weapons attacks have been resolved. But I mean, it's strong anyway. Um, but great to play with bad moons because yeah, obviously yeah. we didn't know the culture for bad moons is to re-roll ones to hit at any point you want. So um, yeah, you can re-roll them to daka daka roll. So if you if you get a daka daka extra hit roll and you roll a one, you can then re-roll that one to attempt to get a hit again, which is useful in that front as well. So yeah, yeah. Um, so that's always useful. Um, we're taking a Morkanaut. Yeah. He's got a custom force field as well. Um, just because I like Morkanauts and I want to see if they're any good this edition, especially now obviously we've now got the Codex, finally. Um, Not bad in price, I think this is three, 300 points. That's 300 points with the custom force field. Yeah, that's everything. That's got everything it can have on it, it's got on it, you know? That is a, that is a points drop again for it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's a useful one. And then we're rounded off with 10 Burner Boys. They're painted, they're here, they're quite fun, or they were an index, so let's try it again in the codex, see how they do. I mean, I think, you know, at the end of the day, we all know Flamers, or well, here, they're going to be all right. If you can yeah. get them close, they're going to be good, you know? Mm -hmm. And then rounding the list off with 10 looters. Um, they seem ridiculously strong for bad moons this, this so far. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think looters are, you know, if you can take some big squads of looters, mob them up, stuff like that, you can do some really, really good things with them. I mean, they're not cheap though, they're 17 points a model, you yeah. know, so yeah. they're not cheap, but I think for what they do, they're probably well priced. Yeah, um, you need more, I think for 17 points, you want to get more out of them, but you're going to be using that, that more DACA strategy for shooting twice, yeah. and then and strategies for, for uh, the, the five and six for DACA DACA rather than just on the six. You're going to be getting what you can. And I think, I think, um, bad Moon players probably are going to be taking big squads of looters, mobbing them up, and then maybe as well tank busters, yeah. stuff like that. Because, you know, they're your big shooters, they're your, you know, you're really, gonna, and, and Bad Moon is obviously they sort of tailored towards they? shooting as yeah. well, you know. Fluff wise, they fit. They got the best, yeah. they got the most teeth, they got the best gubbins, didn't they? So yeah, yeah. It fits. Talking of gubbins, mm -hmm. what are you taking on your Warlord? Do we know? 
Uh, no, I didn't even look at one. Yeah. So I'm going to have to come back to you on that one, I'm afraid. But okay, yeah. no worries. We'll we'll um, talk about. Have you decided on a warlord trait yet? No, yeah, I've not even done that. Okay, so it's no problem. So what we're going to do is we'll come back um, with the Necron army, and at some point we'll tell you what relic and what warlord trait is going to be on the orcs. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, so um, on to the Necrons, but first we're going to, what are you taking for your shiny gubbins? I'm going to take the Killer Claw that Orchimedes himself fashioned. It's just an upgrade to the Power Claw he's got, so uh, that is obviously an Elite weapon. Strength times 2, AP minus 3 and damage 3. And you can re-roll re a wounded rolls for attacks made with this weapon. Nice. Which seems quite useful. And then for the Warlord trait, I'm going to pair that up with Brutal But Cunning, uh, which is re-roll hit rolls in the fight phase for attacks made by your Warlord. Uh, in addition, add one to the damage characteristic of your Warlord's melee weapons. If in the same turn they finished a charge move, were charged, or performed a heroic intervention. So they work quite well together. We'll see how that works. I might nice. change that next time I play, but yeah, start the Very nice, you've got to try these things, haven't you? Absolutely, back to the Necrons. So, this Necron list, I'm going to put a link in the description of a Necron Orc battle that me and John done um, a few months ago. Um, warning, there is a few unpainted models in that, of, uh, you know, here and there with the Orcs. But It's only 10 minutes long, so it's fine. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's 2,000 points of Necrons versus Orcs, but this is 1750, so all I've done is I've taken out the 250 points of Destroyers. So I'll quickly run through. So we've got... Um, 18 Necron Warriors, 2 blobs of those, and 5 uh, Tessa Immortals, um, which makes up the Battalion. Then I've got um, the HQs of that, I've got the Overlord and the Cryptek with Cryptek of Chronometron um, and the Val of Darkness. The Overlord has the Relic um, with the extra strong Scythe. I can't remember what it's called, like the Blood Scythe or something along those lines. Um, this battalion is, is Nihiliac, which gives you reroll ones if you don't move. So a bit like Bad Moons. I've got the Doomsday Art and uh, also the Sea Tan God, and he's taking Antimatter Meteor and Sky of the Fallen Stars uh, as his powers. They can only use one power per turn, but uh, they're his options. And then I've got six Wraiths with Transdimensional Beamers. Um, and two units of three scarabs, and that makes out an outrider attachment with um, Aluna Cesares as the HQ for that. Crabby. Yep, old Crabby. So yeah, that's uh, my list for the Necrons. Um, if you go back and look at that, I'm hoping that it's going to be, uh, at the other bat rep, I'm hoping this bat rep's going to be a lot, lot closer um, and a lot more entertaining. Um, so yeah, I think, so I've got nine command points, you've got nine command points. Um, well, I've actually gone down to eight because I've got two relics. Um, so we're gonna go into, roll off for the mission and do the deployment and set up and we'll come back. See you this okay, time. so we have deployed, we've got the Vanguard Strike deployment. So the Orcs are deployed along here. We've got the Morkanaut Mork front and center. Some all the blobs of boys with the uh, mech, and then you got some... boy, mech, and weird boy behind the rock here. Weird boys right around here. Mm -hmm. And then you got the burners, the looters, the war bikes, the war trike, war trike, which is the war boss. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got the buggies and the tractor cannons over there. And then the necrons. We have some scarabs. We've got the sea tan. The Nightbringer, we've got Warrior Blob, Warrior Blob with the Cryptic, the Chronometron, we've got the Overlord, we've got the five Tessa Immortals, Aluna Cesares, the Wraiths behind this big rock, and then we have some more Scarabs here, and then the Doomsday Arc. So we are doing the Maelstrom of War tactical escalation. Um, so we are going to roll to see who goes first. Um, Necrons get plus one. So I get four. No, I, won't, I won't use the D18 word. So, so you go first. Necrons to go first. 
Uh, I'll right, try and you seize. seize the initiative. Well, that die isn't lucky. Okay, so, so we're changing dice. We need. I've got another broken one every luck. time. Right, oh, sorry, we've got the tray ready. And. Dazzling! Oh. That's all. Okay, so we'll come back after movement. Okay, so the. Uh, scabs move back a little bit to try and just deny a bit of deep strike. These have come over here um, and then just all moved up a bit. This flog have come because I've got secure objective one as the card because you only get one in the first round, which is tactical escalation. Um, so it's within three inches of here. Uh, they augmented these guys and give them plus one to strength. And then Luna Cesaro, uh, which is Luna Cesaro, and he moved up and the Tessa Immortals are here. The Wraiths, the Scabs over here and the Doomsday Arc have uh, remain stationary. I am actually just gonna move these scabs up a little bit in a second. Um, so we'll go, we would normally go into Sea Town Powers, but I'm actually out of range of anything. So we're gonna go into the shooting phase. Okay, so Necron shooting phase. So there was just five Necrons from here. Warriors shot into these guys here. Two wounds end up getting through. And then John saved one with the custom force field, five up, and then one with the field knife pain from the pain boy. Uh, then five of these guys shot at the tractor cannon at the front there, um, and no wounds got through. And then the doomsday arc here shot at the back tractor cannon and took two wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds off of it. So not very big shooting phase for Necrons, but we did get secure objective one um, over here with this front blob, so we've got one victory point. We didn't get first blood, um, so we obviously aren't in range to charge anything, so we're gonna go into orc turn one. There we go, it's the end of turn one movement phase for the orcs. Uh, we have moved forward this blob, well, two blobs of boys, and the pain boy in the middle, and the big mech at the back, and then we've mobbed them up for one command point, so the, the units of boys, nothing else there. Uh, the custom booster blaster buggies move forwards. The Morknot is staying where it is. The war trike and the war bikers have moved forward to give you a bit of perspective on the Necrons there. Uh, and then we move forward the shock drum dragster. Uh, advanced it on a four plus, it got its uh, four plus off and basically deep strike rule, so nine inches away. Uh, and then lost a wound to a mortal wound on a four plus. So. That's the end of the movement phase. We're going to go on to Psychic and uh, see what happens. Okay, so Psychic phase. Um, John has the jumped these here. He did perils because he had a lot of orcs It was close to his um, weird, boy. weird boy and he rolled a D3 on the perils. So um, rolled a 3 on the D3, uh, a 6 on the D3, so it's three mortal wounds. Um, so that's a bit of a, a bummer when he's... Yeah. He also, he also spent a command point to make him a warp head, so he gets to... Um, he, get, he knows three powers and can cast two, but he's out of range to cast anything else, um, so he did just do a jump. Um, so he's got one wound left on the uh, weird boy. So um, we're going to go into the shooting phase and see what this dapper 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 is like. Okay, so these uh, blob of orc boys are going to fire their pistols into this Necromoro blob. Um, their sluggers, should I say, their pistol one. So he's going to do 10 dice at a time. So there's 15. 15 so dice, so he's going to do two rolls. So we're looking on five. Fives, fives. sixes, ones are yeah. re rolls. Yeah. So we got what? One, two re rolls. Yeah, so re roll them. We got one more hit one out of that. Hit. So how many have you got? So you got. So we got one hit. Oh, that was two hits. And then. Three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits. So you got the three and extra three sixes. Yeah. So roll them three. Cool. Okay. And so that's just two. So extra we hits. don't get any more. We no. can't keep re-rolling, unfortunately, because that'd be nice, wouldn't it? That would be. I'd just be for it yeah. forever. But that's nice though. And then three, you got an extra two. Yeah. That's nice. So let's have a look. And these are pistol shooters. Are strength four, toughness four, and everything. Yeah. So fours. So we've got what three, four. four. Four yep. there. So, so four with no AP. Yep, so four on the first slot, so you roll the next slot. Let's go, so that's... I've lost my dice now, look at that. Second lot, so five and six again. Look at that, so we got... We'll take the hits out to start. So yep. there's three hits, four hits, 
five hits. And two sixes. Two sixes. So re-roll your ones. And two re-rolls. So Three re-rolls and one, one there. Three re-rolls. Sorry, I missed that one. So no, no more hits on that. So then and then, then we've got two, for two the... more for the Daka Dakas. One more on Gem, that. that's an extra one. Nice. Gem. And then roll them and you need four pus to wound. Yeah. So we've got another two there. Number two, so that's six. six total we got there. So we've got six, no AP yet. Yeah. No AP. So six four up saves. So we have three dead Necron Warriors. Okay, so the custom booster blaster with his rivet cannon is going to shoot into uh, this blob of warriors. So the same um, as earlier. Yeah, so assault six, and we're hitting on fives. Yep. Uh, so we get three Daka Dakas as well, nice. don't we? And a one there. Three oh, roll. And a reroll one, so that's no. So just the three Daka Dakas. So rub them. Oh, Another two. That. That's look at that. There. So it's uh, no, Strength 7 against toughness 4, so yep. it's still just 3s to wound. Uh, 1 doesn't wound. So that's 4. Three do. And that, sorry, 4 do, yeah, and that's uh, minus 2 AP. So uh, it's 5 ups because of the chronometron. Uh, save 1, 3 more dead. Good, good. Okay, we're going to shoot the um, dragster into these warriors. So start off with the custom shot rifle. Yeah, assault two fires to hit. Right, We've so got one, one hit. hit. And that, oh, that strength uh, eight that one was. So, so two's. Two. Twos. Oh, it's a one. That's a, that's a damn shame. And the next one, the rocket launcher, assault one, same hits. No, misses that one as well, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so we'll go. Okay, so the looters are using the stratagem more dapper. So the daka 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 rule goes off on a five up instead of a six up and they're shooting into these warriors here so it's d3 is it shot three to start yeah so oh. just the one i'm going to command point that one you sure because you could use the shine off all afterwards um, i would you can you would command point it yeah? i would personally i would because it's two command points for this one and two per command okay, points for yeah. showing off so i'm going to use it yeah so Still, one. still the same, so we'll go down the six command points, it's always the way. So we got one shot, but that's still ten, isn't it? Yep. And we should hopefully be able to gain some back with Daka Daka and re-rolling ones and yeah. all that malarkey. So hit on fives, but fives and sixes. So, yeah. so that's uh, no, no re-rolls, that's a shame. But we've got three Daka Dakas because yep. of more Daka. That's oh, three more. That. So that's six. Nice. Wins. Six hits. Uh, they Seven, are, so it's threes. Yeah. So three there. And minus what? Now that is minus. Uh, I'm going see it one, yeah. Yeah, so five up saves. One, so it's two more warriors dead. So we're doing the showing off strategy with the looters into the same unit of warriors, and we're doing uh, the, so D3, so it's the shooting again. That's so this is three shots, so it's going to be 30 dollars. This time we're just going to do it 10 at a time, I think. Yep. Just to make it simple for us. 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 so and 6 is the trigger. So we got 1, 2, 3 triggering and, and 1 re-roll re there. Yeah. Right. And that's another so that's daka, so 4, four. triggering. So let's do the daka daka on it. Yeah. And we've got another. So that's 5. 1. And the first 10. Yeah. So next 10. So here we go. That's nice. So we got all those to re-roll. That re-roll there. Yeah. No. So there we got what another six is that? Mm -hmm. Six to roll for Daka Dakas. That's better. Nice right? number two. In there. So we'll start two, four, six, eight. Two out of the five. Threes. No three. No, you need to roll for wounds. I've still no, got another ten. Hits. Oh, okay. We just had another hits here. Yeah. Okay. And let's roll again, so five and sixes. Re-rolling the one. So that misses, but we got four. Yeah, four. Let's roll another four. Picked up another one out of that. Yep. So that's another five. 
hits, yeah? Yeah, so what have we got hits on his total? So that's uh, 18 hits. So you're going to be wounding on threes. Statistically, you should be uh, taking up this squad. Oh, yeah, 18 hit on threes. Here we go. Cool, look at those ones. That's terrible, but we got. Coming close. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 wounds to take there. 11 wounds, so. Minus 1 AP. Minus one AP, so five up. Come on. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, yeah, that's the squad gone. Right, so shooting phase is over. We got rid of that blob of warriors. Whee! Or wah, rather. Um, so just a recap. Shot both the cannons. One over at the Doomsday, Doomsday Arc. Bit of a waste of time with quantum shielding because obviously you roll 2d6 damage for that against vehicles. Uh, with one fly. Was a, yeah, with fly. Um, got a four and a six. You take the highest of six and quantum shielding practice has to roll under a six. One, um, the second one shot into a wraith but unfortunately invulnerable save saved that. Then all the boys shot into the warriors. The custom booster blaster shot into the warriors. The morkenaut shot into the warriors. The looters, uh, sorry, the, the uh, drag shot drag, dragster shot into the warriors. Uh, then we use those four command points to use more Daka and showing off. Um, one round of shooting was pitiful, but the second round of shooting was pretty much worth the four command points on its own to wipe that out. There was huge amounts of wounds coming out. So uh, that's the end of the shooting phase. We just got to see if we can do some charges now. There we go. So charge phase is over. As you can see, didn't quite go to plan. Uh, rolled right in the middle, needed a nine inch charge to get into the warriors over there. Rolled a four and a three. Decided to re-roll both of them and got I think, a six total. So yeah, four and a two. Not ideal. I lost three to Overwatch as well, which was a bit rubbish. Uh, the Dragster did get in over there. Thought we may as well. There's nothing else to charge. Um, got in, <laughs> needed fours to wound and missed every single one. And then took five, six wounds even in combat with the CT and the little Scarab. So not a great charge phase for me, but uh, we'll see what happens turn two. We finished here with... Two victory points. Yep. Okay, so Netcom movement turn two. So the cards we pulled were behind uh, Big Game Hunter and behind enemy lines. Big Game Hunter, the only thing option I've got is the Big Mork um, of Mork and Ort. So we left the Warriors where they are and the Testers and Mortals. Um, we moved up the Wraiths. We moved these two characters back. We dropped the Sea Town back. Um, we left the dooms out where it is we moved the scarabs up there and these scarabs have stayed in combat the official term is hiding yep hiding yeah <laughs> and we augmented the immortals with luminous azaris so they have plus one ballistic skill and my will be done is put on the neck from warriors um so we are going to go into the sea town powers um and we're going to be doing anti-matter meteor onto the shock jump drag star Okay, end of Necron turn two shooting. So we shot the Warriors and the Immortals into uh, the Orcs over here. Um, and took quite a few of them out. They've got three, seven, eight left. Eight left, yeah. Um, and then, so they probably have to take some morale. Mm -hmm. And then the Doomsday Arc shot into the Tract Can at the back. I have realized that I haven't shot with Illuminous Cesaris either turn, but <laughs> I'll shoot him within this turn in a minute. Um, and I think that is about it in terms of shooting. So we did, um, oh, the Sea Town used his anti matter Meteor on the shot down the planet. So I rolled a one, so it didn't go off. Command re-rolled, obviously. Rolled a one. So, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go off. So, um, yeah, we'll come back after we've resolved this little fight over here and I'll, I'll resolve the shooting from Aluna Cesares. Um, and then we'll sort out where Okay, so the Scarabs. Ended up taking out the shot jump dragster. Um, and the boys could not pass morale, um, unfortunately. Not and possible. I don't think it was worth spending the two command points to auto pass them because John hasn't got enough command points left to then well, use the stratagem stuff, to bring him back as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go into the orc turn two and see what happens. So orc movement phase turn two, and it is time to go 
balls out. Green balls out. Uh, we've moved the weird boy up and the burner boys up. Uh, can't regret taking those now, but yeah, it's too late for that. Uh, we've moved the boys up, just a five inch movement there. The big mech in mega arm has moved across because that Morkinaut's need a bit of attention. Lucas stay still, because Lucas stay still. The remaining buggy, the shock jump drag, not the shock jump drag, so the custom booster blaster has moved up. The war bikes and the war trike have moved up with it. And Morkinaut obviously has moved up. Uh, track the can staying where it is, and we will see what happens in the psychic phase. Can anyone guess what's going to happen? Let's just jump the camera over here. Ooh. There we go, so end of the charge, uh, well, psychic and charge phase. So we did the jump, as you may have guessed, on the blobber boys who come over here, give them a charge there, a nine inch charge on the warriors. Uh, we then emptied as much firepower as we could into the immortals at the back to try and wipe them. Uh, so that was the Buggy, the war bikers, I believe, shot into the warriors because they were out of range. No, like, two were shot into the immortals and wiped them out, and one shot into the race. There you go. Uh, the war trike just failed massively. He into shot the into warriors. the warriors. I think he took a couple, well, two out. Okay, I'll take you with it. Uh, the stars of the show again, I gotta say, if you haven't got looters, get looters. And if you got burners, make them looters. They've done really well so far. They're wounding, wounding, wounding for fun, and the stratagem is more dapper and showing off a really, really good. They're great fun. You get lots of hits out of them at least. Uh, Morkinort was healed for a few wounds. He's on 17 again now. Uh, he did a bit of shooting into the race. Um, wasn't too bad. Took one down, did yeah, one wound, didn't he? And then the looters took finished that one off and took another one out. Yeah. So we've we've thinned out the numbers. There's warriors, characters, a few wraiths. Sea town and scarabs all over the place, and the old, the old sweaty arc at the back there. So I just uh, thought you haven't shot them. Do you want to shoot them? Um, into them, or do you not? I don't think I do, just because the first thing you'll do is take off the front, and that's Obviously. where my charge is going to go. So I think I just need to hope that I get into a, a nine-inch charge, which should be feasible. But we've heard it before. These ones should tie up, but we'll see what happens. So uh, we'll go into the charge phase. Right, so there's the end of the charge and fighty phase and all that stuff. Uh, decided to try to get the charge off on the warriors with the bikers first. Uh, not only did I fail the charge, I lost a, uh, a biker to the charge. Uh, we then managed to get the truck in, thankfully. Uh, he got in, didn't actually do any fighting when he got in. I should have fought him first, maybe, but there we go. Um, but then we managed to get the blubber warriors, uh, not warriors, sorry, boys in. Wow. And uh, all the attacks got rid of the blob of warriors and consolidated in. And sixteen warriors it took out. Sixteen warriors in one round of fighting. So, uh, yeah, that's what boys are for. That's one of the few times I've actually managed to get them into combat in the games I'm playing, and it seems to work. So, just got some three characters and some wraiths here to deal with. Then we got the sea town and stuff. But uh, lost a lot of wounds down here. I'm down to one wound on this buggy from the overlord. He went a bit ape in. Didn't like seeing warriors melt. So. Uh, that was the end of that. In terms of the turn, uh, we got rid of a blob of immortals, which got us one victory point for overwhelming with firepower, and got rid of the warriors uh, during the fight phase for blood and guts. So that's another two victory points, puts me on four points for the game. So uh, over to Necron, turn three. Okay, end of Necron movement phase, uh, turn three. So we got no prisoners attached to the objective card, so we need to take out a unit. Um, we moved up the Doomsday Arc, so get some more line of sight. Um, the Scarabs moved over. The three characters here dropped out of combat. The Wraiths have moved over. The Sea Town moved up and the Scarabs moved up here. Um, we're just going to see if we can do some damage to some stuff. Um, and then see where we go from there. Okay, so a bit of roundup of Necron turn three. So um, we shot the Doomsday Arc into the boys, took a few out of the Gauss Fire, and then the big gun, it moved so it was at low strength, took a couple of wounds off the tractor cannon. Um, we shot the race into the boys as well. We shot the Sea Tan into the war bikers, um, taken one out, and then that was about all the shooting we had. Then we took charge the Scarabs, into, lost a couple of bases, so I've watched into the knob bike and the trike. Um, blew up the scarab using a stratagem and took out the knob bike and then the sea tan charged um, and then took the trike down to one wound. He fought back and took the sea tan down three. 
Um, then over here, the Rafes fought and took out um, quite a few more boys. Nine odd, wasn't it? Yeah. And then um, the boys fought back, took the Rafe down, took one of the other Rafes out, another one down to one. And then lost a few more to morale, and now they've got two knobs left and two boys. Um, and I've got no prisoners. I took two units out, not quite the three for D3, so I've already got no, a one, the one point. Um, and now we are going into Orc, turn three. He's still got the tractor cannon, the pain boy over here, We've got the burners at the back with the uh, weird boy, We've got the big mech, the Morkonaut still sitting on 17, the looters at the back. The deadly, deadly looters and in the war trike, and like we said, the boys over here. So, uh, orcs are four victory points to uh, two, so um, they've definitely got the upper hand, but it's uh, looking good. It's been a good barrack so far, so we're going to go into orcs turn three. There we go, start of orc turn three. So, we'll start with the cards. I pulled domination, which is control every objective marker, which is a bit of a bridge too far, I think, unfortunately. Uh, we've got Mission Crystal Objective, I pulled Objective 2, I managed to pull back my War Trike, Objective 2 is just hidden over here but he's close enough to hold that one, so that's a hopeful one there. And Supremacy, uh, which is D3 victory points if you control any three objective markers, so I'm, I'm banking for that with 1, 2, 3 and 4 that I can hold 3. With the movement phase, as I said, move the Trike back, just to cover the objective. The Big Mech and Mega Armour with the Custom Force Field, and the Morkinaut with the custom force field to both move across just to sort of block off the sea town a bit. Uh, and the boys fell back. Um, other than that, we, we moved literally an inch just to get a little bit closer there, but the burners, I think, are staying put for the time being. Just an expensive objective grabber. But uh, let's go on to the psychic phase where I'm going to pull some, hopefully, pull some psychic shenanigans. There we go. So there's the end of the, well, it's the end of the psychic and shooting phase. So we. We actually decided to change my mind before I did it. I moved the, the uh, weird boy up, uh, cast smite on the Catan and took uh, two wounds, three wounds off it, and then cast Fist of Gork on this just in case he charged your maps of strength and attacks, but he's not there anymore, so we'll get on to that. Uh, got to the shooting phase, unloaded one of the weapons from the Morkanaut, the custom mega zapper, into the Catan. That took him out. The rest went into the Wraiths and took one out, and I think left one with a wound. Um, we then use the looters, the ever reliable looters who've been the star of the show for me so far. So far, uh, loads and loads of shots. Managed to take another loot, another right. another wraith out. Um, so I mean, that was the end of the shooting phase. So to sum up, domination is not going to happen. But we managed to get supremacy. Uh, only got the one point for that with the with a of the D three, which is a bit of a shame and mission critical objective I managed to grab. So it's another two, which leaves me on six victory points. Uh, we are over to Necron turn four. Okay, so Necron turn four. We still got behind enemy lines, big game hunter, assassinate psychological warfare, um, which we got assassinate psychological warfare this turn. Um, we attempted to reanimate the wraiths and unfortunately, um, didn't roll any. I could have gone on a four up, not one came back, which is a big game changer. So it's not looking good for the Necrons. We've just moved some stuff about. Um, I am actually going to advance some of the in a second. Um, we've kept the gyms out, still moved the scarabs up. So we're going to go into the shooting phase and see what happens. Okay, so end of Necron shooting phase and turn. So we didn't get any of the cards. The Doomsday Arc shot into this took five wounds off it, um, and also killed the boys with the flower up, and Luna Cesares killed one of the looters. So we are going into Orc turn four. There we go, so end of movement and psychic phase, uh, turn four for me and the Orcs. Uh, we pulled up, uh, got rid of domination, pulled out advance, defend objective six, hold the line behind enemy lines. Uh, so advance um well i'm not going to get that because i've decided to go for hold the line so we may as well pretend that one doesn't exist hold the line is just uh, one victory point if you have at least three and uh, three units within your deployment zone i've still got my looters uh, weird boy and the final cannon there uh we've got defender objective six which i'm still holding here 
uh, everything else has sort of moved forward at the moment. So the Morcanaut and the War Trike have moved forwards, um, and we jumped right in the back corner by Pat there. We've jumped the burn, jumped the burn, isn't the corner there to be behind enemy lines. So uh, we will go on to the shooting phase. Yeah. There we go, so end of turn four shooting phase for the Orcs. Uh, we unloaded the trike into the Wraith hide around there, protecting his characters from shooty shoot. Uh, did nothing to him, did we? Um, the Morcanot shot into its 24 inch range guns, went into the Scarabs and left one. Uh, the 36 inch range weapons went into the Doomsday, Arc. The Doomsday Arc and took a few wounds off it. Um, we then shot the looters, that could looters. See. there was only three of them we could see him, but we shot them into there. Much better weapon to take that out, um, and managed to get it down to three wounds now total. And then the only other thing we could see with was this little uh, tracking cannon here, which was a bit overkill, but took out the final scarab base, so that was clears the way for a bit of shooting potentially next turn, but we've now got the charge phase, let's see what we can charge. There we go, so end of charge phase, went a bit balls out to try and get his warlord just for shits and giggles. Uh, unfortunately, I got the charge off, but with my guy only having one room. Don't think the trike's actually that good in combat for me so far. I may have been unlucky with the rolls, but we'll talk about it later, I'm sure. I uh, got into combat with a wraith, took a wound down, but only because he blew up <laughs> and did a mortal wound. So, unfortunately, Pat's got slayed at warlord and assassinate because I should have just held him back, really. Uh, but at the same time, I got hold the line for one um, victory point and behind enemy lines for one uh, victory point um, and I'm on objective six so I just need to hold that to the end of Pat's turn and I can get another one, uh, another two victory points for that so uh, right now I'm on eight with a potential for ten if I'm lucky so let's go on to Necron turn five and hopefully the end of the game okay so Necron turn five we managed to reanimate some wraiths this time we got four back um, we've done the living metal over here we have Van of Darkness, our Cryptek, all the way back to where John's pointing there um, to get behind enemy lines. Um, we have moved these two characters, moved the race up to here, um, and then we're just going to sort of see what we can do in this turn, really. Um, see if we can pull back any points at all, um, see what happens. So we're going to go into the shoot. Okay, so we've uh, done the shooting. So everything shot into the Morkenaut. So these raids shot in, took two wounds off. Mm -hmm. And then the Doomsday Arc. I got three wounds through and he saved two on the custom force field. Um, and then one went through and done five um, damage. Then Aluna Cesar has got a wound through and he saved again on the custom force field. That's really, really uh, earned its points this game. Um, so we're going to go into some charges and see what I can do. Okay, so end of Necrons, turn three, no, sorry, turn five. So what we're going to do, uh, we attempted to charge here, failed the charge, no overwatch, uh, done it. So then over here, we charged into the pain boy and killed him. It was a lot of, you know, deciding what to do. So we got behind enemy lines, which gives us one, um, and we... Yeah, that was all we got this turn, but we are sitting on Defend Objective 6, so if we stay alive we could get that if the game goes on. Um, and I'll be getting rid of Domination. So we are going to go into um, the Orcs turn, there's no morale to take, so we're going to go into Orcs turn 5. five. Okay, so the Morkanaut has just moved up 6 inches with the Mech, um, the Burner Boys over here have moved up. Ready to attack the uh, Doomsday Arc and the Weird Boy tried to smite, failed, and then he tried to do the crunch and failed. Um, he didn't perils though, so he's still alive. Um, so we're going to go into the shooting phase. Orcs turn. Okay, so the shooting phase um, basically, the burners um, took one wound off of the Doomsday Arc, then the Morkanaut. Um, shot a couple of guns into it and finished it off. He shot a couple of guns into the race and didn't do anything. The looters then shot into the race and took two out. Um, and the trapped cannon at the back didn't do anything because he failed to wound. So that was it. So we're going to go into the charge phase. Um, I think 
the Morganauts looking at the Warlord, so that could be uh, a big charge there, or he might change his mind and go for the race, or the um, Weird, Boy. Weird Boy might go for the race. So we're going to go into the charge phase. Okay, so the end of the charge phase, the Morganaut destroyed Luna Cesares, uh, doing six wounds on him. Uh, he only had five, so he did. Um, John scored Scour the Skies, King Slab, which he rolled one on the D3. Um, he's called Assassinate and he scored Slay the Warlord. So that's four points. He's up to 12 um, to the Necron 7 because we got two for Defend Objective 6 over here. So um, we're going to see if the game goes on. So on a 3 plus, it will go on. Yep. It does go on to a turn 6. It's uh, looking pretty desperate for the Necrons. We have three units left. So we have the Overlord, we have the Rapes, and we have the Cryptek at the back behind him behind that rock. So we'll see what can be done and see if we can claw any points back. So we'll go into Necron movement phase. Okay, so the end of Necrons turn six. <clears throat> so we shot at the Big Mech with the Rapes, didn't do anything. Then we charged with the Overlord and the Wraiths into the Morganaut. The Overlord whiff didn't do anything. The Wraiths only got one through. Um, it was well as three wounds through. John saved two, um, so I only done two damage to it. Um, so, but I did get Kingslayer and I got D3 and I got Advance. I could have got Age of the Machine and Big Game Hunter if I'd taken out the Morganaut, which would have, so I'm up to 11, that would have put me up to 13. But John is on 12, um, so I'm on 11, John's on 12. He's pulled his cards and he's got the, basically the ability to score at least another three. So he'd be on 15. So we're gonna um, call it there. Uh, I'm gonna concede because obviously I've got an Overlord and three Wraiths left and the Overlord will be dead definitely this turn. And you know, the Wraiths will probably be down a couple of models. So um, John still had the burners at the back there. He's obviously got the Morgan on seven, the big mech. He's got, the Weird Boy, the Tractor Cannon, and the Looters. I've still got the Cryptek at the back as well, actually, but um, he's not doing anything, and he wouldn't do anything to score any points. So, um, yeah, really good game. Um, it's really, we'll go into the post-game chat, and we'll have a talk about the differences between this game and the last time we played with Index Orbs. So, post-game chat. Um, really, really good game, really enjoyable. What a difference. In the Orcs. Chalk and cheese, wasn't it? Massive difference. I mean, if you, if you take a look at the battle report, considering that my list was very, very similar to what I took last time, um, it was a massive difference. I mean, Daka 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 just increased the amount of shots, like, much more than I thought it was going to. Yeah, likewise. I mean, you get pairing that with, I mean, I ran mine as Bad Moons, obviously, and the reroll of ones, paired with Daka Daka. It was phenomenal, the amount of yeah. hits you could get through that. And then using the more DACA stratagem and the showing off stratagem. On so the looters, yeah. yeah shooting it's twice crazy. and getting DACA DACA on fives and sixes was ridiculous the amount of shots you put out. It wants to Brilliant. be the four command points combined with those two stratagems, but yeah. you get what you pay for, definitely worth it. I mean, like me and, me and John spoke at the end, is you know, the neither the Orc uh, army or the Necron army were particularly competitive armies. Um, like John sort of played what he could have got, got painted up um, from the new stuff and paint, um, played what he had of, um, before. Because obviously with the codex coming out, he didn't know what was going to be good, you know, and things like that. So he didn't want to put a lot of time and effort into painting stuff that, you know, might not be used. Um, and I wanted to play the same list as I played obviously the Index Orcs to see what was going to go, um, how, 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 good, yeah, yeah. how different it was going to be. Um, I hope you enjoyed obviously seeing the orcs and how you know some of the new vehicles done. How did you feel about the new bit that actually that about the buggies and the tri and stuff? Um, I like the shot jump drag stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I like the fact when you advance on a four you can jump across the, essentially deep strike. Yeah. Um, that's good. The weapons on all of them seem quite good on, on both the um, shot jump drag stuff and the uh, custom booster blaster. Yeah. In honesty, I was a bit underwhelmed with the war trike, the, uh, the, the death yeah. killer war trike. It, it's shooting the sounds with the bit, isn't it? Yeah, the shoot is it's maximum 12 inch range. That's it, and it is a, obviously it is a combat unit, but the only 
sort of combat weapon it's got is the Snagger Claw, which is what? Strength 7, seven uh, minus two. 2 AP, D3 damage, reroll wound roll, rolls. And as you can give him the. Um, I mean, I'm not. I, I'm not sure if it was just a fact of a bit of roll. Like I had um, the stuff it went into had invons, and you know I saved well, so it didn't really do as much. I feel like you probably got to try it a little bit more, and you know to get. I think you need it. to play that as a speed wire unit. You need to have bikes for and the buff things yeah. around it to get the full buff because. I mean, yeah. you're getting what speed wire, clan bikers, and vehicle within six inches of the model at the start of the charge phase can charge even if they're advanced. So it's almost like a Gazgul Thracker for boys sort of yeah, situation. Yeah, you and it's, that's going to be brilliant in terms of you know, you've got quite a few bikes, haven't you? You're going to get yeah. painted up, you know, and you can have buggies, bikes, and then you've got like a really take the trike, and you've got a really good, um, you know, potential for getting in first turn. Yeah, yeah, very much so. What else has it got here? Uh, once per battle, when this model advances, add six inches to its movement character for that movement phase instead of rolling dice, which is pretty cool. If you need to make sure you're getting onto an objective or something like that, that's that's. Well, if you um, want to make sure you're getting in to people, you're going to be pretty close yeah, if you yeah. use that. Just you're not ta you're taking the chance out. Of it, exactly. Right? So, what you need to do, so yeah, I mean that's a twenty inch move. Yeah. So a 20, yeah. 20 inch move. And then you know if you're starting most deployments are twenty four like maximum of twenty four inches so away. Guaranteed first turn charge yeah. essentially. Unless people are deploying back, but you know sometimes you can't really do that. So yeah, it's, it's like I say really close to guaranteed first turn charge. I think the biggest thing I thought was the the looters. The way they've changed is unbelievable. I mean, I've seen a few. Obviously, you've probably all seen a few bat wrecks where they look good. I like because they haven't necessarily up. changed. From the index, have they? It's the fact of the new rules that have changed. Yeah, that's it. The, 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 the stats are exactly the same. Aren't the they? stratagems, the rerolling yeah. ones for the bad moons. Yeah, it just turns them into brilliant, a brilliant unit. I mean, like it's one of those things that I think you know you're going to see in tournaments. They're going to be must take units. You're, you you're going to see people taking bad moon detachments of, of looters, looters. Yeah, and you're and going to showing off with that showing off strategy. With showing off. I don't know, to be honest, looking back, I probably wouldn't play the more DACA stratagem over the showing off stratagem. I'd rather shoot no. twice and have yeah. the, the, the consistency of getting the sixes for re-rolls and bad moon re-roll ones. And if you're looking, at limited, you and if you're looking at limited map um, command points, um, I'd prefer to play shooting twice more times for more turns That's it. than having more DACA for two command points plus showing off. You know, it depends if you really need to take something out on a turn. If, if you, if, you know, there's something you think, oh, if I use more DACA and show enough mm -hmm. and I can get rid of that really important unit, then yeah. you might use it. But yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Morganaut. Good. That was fun as well. Wasn't yeah. It? It's good fun. It's good, really good in combat. It did, did the work in combat. To be fair, it did quite a lot of work in the shooting. Yeah, well, shooting I think um, the custom Mega Zapper. Really, really good. Yeah, heavy 3d3, yeah. strength 8, minus 3 AP, d6 damage. Yeah. Um, Re rolling one, so you can have a chance of not taking water wounds. Well, yeah, because well, you can take more wounds, wounds off it, but with the re rolling ones from bad moons, it's perfect. Yeah. You know, it's just perfect to play with bad moons that mm -hmm. weapon. And mm -hmm. I think um, it was soaked up a lot of damage, done really well. Um, it draws it, fire, it soaks it up well. It's the big mech done well, healing it each turn. Yeah. You know. The debate is, do you bother spending 20 points to put a custom force field on it, or do you put a, a big, big mech with a custom it. force field on I don't know. Um, You're getting taxed either way. But, but, but the big mech's healing it D3 wounds. Yeah. You know, so I think I'd probably take a big mech and just yeah. not bother with a custom force field on that. Yeah. So yeah. you're saving 20 points on that, and then because you're getting that D3 wounds back each mm -hmm. turn. Um, especially if you've got other vehicles nearby as well, because then yeah. that big mech can also heal them if the Morgonaut doesn't need yeah. it. Um, we looked at what burners as well. The burners they they, they didn't were really a bit, get used in, in, no. this, in this battle. I think, well, I think honest, they need to be in a truck, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Burners in trucks is the way forward. Um, they did a job. Obviously, we managed to jump them into the back to get a uh, to get what we needed out of them. Yeah. Um, you got you got behind enemy lines, didn't yeah. you? And then you have done a bit of damage to the Doomsday Arc. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think if you're going competitive, you're going looters, you're going to put more looters in a squad and you're going to mob them up, yeah, potentially, yeah, I would yeah, say, yeah. and then use those stratagems over burners, potentially. Yeah. Boys did a hell of a lot of work in combat. They were ridiculously the boys good. Boys were really good. Like, you know, boys, I think, again, haven't 
changed much, but just got well, better got because of point, the rules. But the rules have yeah buffed them. Exactly. They? And well, then, I mean, Daka Daka. Did, I mean, Daka Daka did help. They took out some yeah. warriors using Daka yeah, yeah, yeah. Daka. Obviously, the bad moon trait didn't help them in combat. But no. But then yeah, and then, like you know, they were doing like um, four attacks. You know, yeah, you know, they, they were going to wipe out a, a, a unit of my infantry yeah. turn if they got in. They were there to tie you up essentially, is what I was looking for, so you couldn't shoot back. I mean, a few things happened, like you didn't make that first turn charge with boys. Yeah. Um, so that was sort of made a big change in the battle. Um, me not reanimating my race the first time. Um, if I'd got a few back then, maybe. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I think the orcs, it's always if the orcs isn't there, yeah. and the orcs had it all day. Mm. It was, um, you know, they were ahead on victory points, like um, units. I was, if the game had, you know, if the game had gone on forever, mm -hmm. I would have been tabled. Pretty, you know, I probably would have been tabled next turn, or not far off. Um, and John was accumulating more points. I wasn't because I didn't have the units too. Um, but yeah, I, you know, it was. A good game. It was a close game as well. You know, it, it wasn't. Was. It wasn't like it was complete runaway. It was still like, you know, I was trying to work out how I could get some more points back. And it finished 12-11, Don't be wrong. I had one extra turn, um, and John would have probably got another three it's points. Three was there, the so it probably would have ended up about fifteen eleven in in victory points. So it was good. Um, I think I, I, like I trying to think the met guns. Met now, guns, everyone's raving about the now, I tractor don't, cannon. Yeah, but the thing is, now the tractor cannon is not good, was not was good suit against, against that list was, no, at no. all, because my Doomsday Arc has quantum shielding, so every time he's firing at it, he's rolling two dice, had to pick the highest one, and then, you know, I'm just rolling under it, and it wasn't, it wasn't good. I think if you're playing that against a craft world Drukhari army, them tractor cannons Pretty are going to be... Pretty much anyone else. Yeah, it's going to be... Really, you try to get Space Marines... Well, Space Marines, Marines don't have that much to fly, really. No, true. You know, but then, but I mean, they're going to be awesome people, against flyers. I think they're going to be a really good anti-flyer. Yeah, and we've already said that the, the one Space Marine army that is the one people are going to take is the Death Watch, and they, they've got a flyer, haven't they? They've got the Corvus. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and then I suppose it would be good against Repulsors, because they fly. Yeah. So the primary... So fly yeah. keywords, that's not yeah. just flyers. Yeah, it's not flyers, it's fly keywords, so. yeah. So, and I, I think... That Eldar Hemlocks is what you want to take that against. Yeah. Because Hemlocks are Definitely. horrible, but They're if you really, can auto-hit yeah. them, blow them up, and to be fair, you've got a good chance with 2d6 rolling and taking the highest. And I think if you're going up against like an Eldar list, or if I was going to take tracked cannons in um, a list sort of more competitively, I think I'd take quite a few. I'd yeah. probably take sort of six, you know. It, 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 For 45 points, Yeah, they're, they're, they yeah. are cheap artillery, cheap reliable shots. I mean, you could take nine, which is the maximum you can take of one data sheet. And that's, I feel that's like 405 that's points, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a big right. point soak. I mean, it's a lot of stuff, but it's a big point soak. You get so know. many other things you yeah, can take really well. fun. And I mean, we've not played Death Cop, the Storm Boys. No. We've not played... Uh, Gorgonaut Stomper. Gorgonaut Stomper. Loads we've of the new... played War Mikes fully. I know, yeah. and loads of the new buggies, like the Boondacker, Snaz Wagons, the Mega Track uh, Scrap Jets. And the Squeak Buggies, the Squeak yeah. Buggies, like, so obviously we've got them to... Which John yeah, there to be built. Hopefully yeah, John has got Hulk tried demo nose and giving you more of a speed wire look at things as yeah. well. So. so yeah, I think that there's we were saying before or at the end of the game, there's certain codexes that have come out which you can really see can be played in a variety of different ways and are really good codexes, such as Craftworld, Jukari, um, Tyranids, um, and Orcs is definitely, I think, one yeah. of the codexes, yeah. and there's going to be a lot of things and different ways people are going to play them, and they can do that in a competitive manner. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, I feel that Necrons isn't one of those codexes. Although it's good, and you can play in a variety of ways, they're just not good in a variety of ways. You have to play them very one their way. Their weaknesses are really clear, aren't they? Yeah, the and their strong units, there's you know, like three or four strong units, mm. and, and they're used, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think that... Uh, as an overall, from a person that's played against the Codex, uh, I feel it's a really good Codex. I think you're pretty happy with it. Massively, massively happy with it. I will be, my Orcs have been on the shelf since that last battle we had, and that was a long while ago. They're back out now, and they're going to be back out for a fair while, I think, to be honest. I'm really enjoying playing these again and seeing what we can do with them. Yeah, I think, it's, like, well, they're going to be fun because they're like we said, with the right variety, you can keep mm -hmm. taking different lists, different lists, different lists, and it, it will be good. 
Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, big thank you to Neil who actually hosted this game and put out the table and built the table. So thanks to Neil tactically as well. He was helping me get through the codex. Like I said, didn't really get any opportunity to read it beforehand. So he was sort of uh, reading through things, giving me a few tips while he was sort of having time to look and I was doing the old dice rolls and stuff. So uh, thanks for that as well, Neil. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so I think, um, like I said, Thank you very much uh, for watching. If you can, uh, if you want, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Look at our other content. Click um, the bell. Click the bell. Uh, make sure you're uh, seeing our videos, um, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye.